Hello, Phil Hinkle here from ProDad coming to you today with a tutorial on Pinnacle Studio and using the Adderidge plugin filter set from ProDad. There's one thing I want to show you before we dive into this particular tutorial, and that is the installation process is a little bit different than most ProDad products. Here's a folder where I've downloaded the installation file and four of the different volumes. You can see volume 6, 10, 12, and 13. The difference with Adderidge over other applications is you have to install the application first. That way the plugins, the volumes know where to go and it all talks to each other. So make sure you install this file first and then when you launch these they're going to go out and download the uh, large files for the packs with all the graphics and things in it. And some of those could take a little while so I'm just letting you know but that's one thing that you need to know about before you go installing all of this. Let's close that and get on with the tutorial. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio version 20 and I've got a couple of clips on the timeline I'm going to play with for us here in this tutorial. Here's a little bit of a motorcycle ride I had on the way to work one day. And then this was from the holiday season we had recently. I was out sledding with some family members. And then this is a video I took with my drone of a friend's wedding chapel out in the country. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to go overboard with some of these filters and effects just to have a little bit of fun with it. But you'll see what it's going to look like. It's pretty cool. By doing so, even though we're going overboard, it will give you a good idea of how to use the Adderidge filter set plugin for Pinnacle Studio version 20. One thing I have done to speed things up, I'm going to create a title and I've got my transitions and my effects tab created up here so I can easily and quickly get to those items when I need them. First thing I'm going to do is on my first clip, I'm going to set a small section of it about here I'm going to put a cut and the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to put a title up here with an effect underneath it which is going to be kind of a cool entry so the first thing I want to do is load the effect on here and then go find the one that I want okay so the first thing I want to do is double click on my clip and we will get the effects editor I'm going to come up here on the adderage filter open it up and click open for the plugin. Okay, this first one I want, if I go down to the starter packs and the sampler for volume six, the samplers come with the actual plugin. These other volumes are ones that I have downloaded and purchased separately for extra filters and effects and we will use some of those, but for a couple of these we're gonna use the samplers. So I'm gonna start on the version 6 and I'm going to click on the trio stars and you can see what they do is they come flying in and then fly out and what I'm going to do is right there I'm going to put a title in there so let's click OK on that we really don't have to do anything else click OK and then if we play back here we can see them come in and boom go away now next thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here to my title I'm going to take this particular title I'm going to drag it down on top of my clip and I'm going to offset it just a tiny bit. Let me zoom in on my timeline so it'll be a little easier to do that because I don't want it coming in right at the beginning of those stars. I want it to be right in there. See how it's going to come in? It's going to come in right there with those stars. It's like the stars are bringing it in. Real easy to fix that title. I'm going to double click on it. It brings it up in the titler. I'm going to click here and make sure all of my text is highlighted. I'm going to change that to white. Apply. And you're not going to be able to see it well because of those stars. Let's move the stars out of the way a little bit so we can see it better. Okay, now I'm going to come back up here to my settings. Okay, let's double click that again so we can modify our look just a little bit. I want to add a drop shadow, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to take and make my drop shadow a blackish gray. Okay, now you can see that we've got a drop shadow on our text, and that actually makes it stand out a little better. I'm going to leave it as it is. We could tweak it some more if we wanted, but let's not. Down here on the titler, 
this is the fade in of the title and this is the fade out. I don't want it to fade out. I'm just going to drop the title later on. So I'm going to delete that part. I'm actually going to slide this a little bit by moving my in and out point so it doesn't come in right away and it will appear better under those stars. If I click OK and come back to my timeline, OK, here come my stars. And now my title starts to fade in and then the stars go away. And now we have a neat little title. Let's actually go in and change that title. I'm going to take and let's get this timeline cursor out of the way so we can see it better. Highlight my entire title and call it a ride in the country. There we go. And click out of there. Click OK. Now we have a nice title. Let's see how it looks again. A ride in the country. There. We've got this really cool animated title with glitters and sparkles bringing it in. Okay, there's our first effect. See how easy that was in Adderidge to add that cool look to your clip. All right, now there's something else that's a little bit of fun that I want to try, and I know this is a stretch, but let's use our imaginations a little bit. I'm going to put a little cut there and a cut about there. Now what I'm going to do, and this is crazy, yes it's spring, we've got green grass, but you can see the leaves are missing on the trees, so they haven't come out yet, and it's a pretty nice day, and it's sunny and everything, but we're going to imagine we're riding in the mountains and we're going through a patch of fog as we go up the mountain. See, I'm going up a little bit of a hill there. Let's use our imagination and right here on this clip, I'm going to add some fog. So I'm going to come up here to my effects palette. I'm going to drag my filter down on that clip. You can see it has turned pink, meaning there is a filter there. Double click the clip and we're going to open our Adderidge plugin filter again. And this time, this particular one is in the starter pack one and there's one called fog see that and by the way if you click on these different ones you can get a preview why there's a earth coming in there's blinds there's a flame thing there's a fun skeleton that one's really fun to play with uh, you can even get windshield wipers there's all kind of fun things in here i'm just showing you a few of the highlights feel free to explore the samplers and the volumes you download there are just thousands of them if, if you download all of the volume packs i believe there's over 17,000 different effects and filters see how that fog comes in and goes out that's kind of cool if i want to come down here to my overlay um, I'm actually going to say let's ping pong it and see what happens. It just kind of you're going in and out of it a little bit more kind of like that and if I push my covering up it looks like we're going farther into the fog. It's a little bit thicker. We could set fade ins and fade outs and things like that on some of these advanced things. There's all kind of things in here. There's different levels of things you can do in here. Feel free to experiment. This is the actual filter here that we modified and it's looking pretty good the way I like it. I'm going to click OK and OK again. Now if I drag my timeline cursor through my clip it starts clean and then you can see oh I just hit a patch of fog on the way to work. I'm glad it was very small because on a motorcycle that could be very dangerous. So I'm going to click OK. Now come back here in my timeline, hit the play button and you can see it slows down a little bit because it's not rendered but it looks like I'm driving and I hit a patch of fog. So there's just another way you can have some fun with your clips. Now to have a little bit more fun, we're going to come into our second clip here, which is sledding. In a second, I'm going to come back and add a transition here, but I want to do some stuff to this clip first. First thing I want to do is, see, I'm sledding. It's the holidays and I'm at my wife's family's farm slash campground and we're sledding down the hill with some of the uh, nieces and nephews. So that's me, almost got hit by a snowball, having a good time, but it's snow on the ground. So you know what? It would look really cool if we could make it snow. So let's make it snow and we're going to use the Adderidge filters to do that. Again, I'm gonna come up here to my effects, I'm going to drag that down here on my clip double click to open and this time don't you love my face there I've just about by a snowball going to open and open the plugin again this time if I go to volume 10 
and I go to the particle effects. There's a whole bunch of different ones. You can see some of the different things they do. Um, there's light rays and all kind of other things. There's just a whole myriad of different things that you can make happen to your footage. I want the ones down here called snow. So I'm just going to pick that first snow one. And let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty cool, but you know what? It's moving really slow. So if I go over here in my advanced settings and click on the overlay, right here, this running is the actual speed of the snowfall or of your overlay effect. So I'm going to change that. I think a good number I like is 8, and you can see it falls at a much more realistic speed. So I am going to take the fade in out and the fade out out and leave that alone. If I push the covering up, it becomes thicker snow. If I push it down, it'll become a little bit lighter. So let's drop it down a little bit from default and click OK. OK, I want to add another filter on here to do something even a little crazier. So I'm going to close out of there, drop another one on my clip and open it back up. See these two little buttons? If I click this one, you can see my snow disappeared. That tells me that this top one is the one I'm actually working with my new one. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to go into my volume 13 and frames and I'm going to pick a frame out. Let's see. I don't like that one. There was one I picked out earlier that I really liked. I like this frame. It's just going to have the silver around my image. But you can see there's nothing there. This is an overlay, so we don't want to mess there. I'm going to come up here to the mixer. And where it says properties, I'm going to select video source A. You don't see it show up here, but watch this when I click OK and back out. There, I'm now framed in a moving picture frame video. So if I slide my timeline slider, you can see it's snowing and it's like I'm looking out a window. Just another way you can use Adderidge to do some fun things in Pinnacle Studio 20. There are lots of different kinds of frames. You can explore some of those volumes of filter add-ons and uncover all kind of neat things for what you're doing. Okay we haven't got a transition on here. It's kind of an abrupt change from a warm, comfy motorcycle ride to snow. So let's add a on there. I'm going to drag my size back. I want it to be a fairly long. So if I leave it alone, I've just got the simple fade. That's not what I want. I want to do something funky and fun. So I'm going to come up here to my transitions and slide that filter down over that page curl turn that is my transition. All right, there's nothing added there, so we're still on a dissolve. I double clicked here, and now I'm going to click Edit. And for this one, I'm going to once again use my sampler pack. And let's see, which one do I want to use? The roller blinds is the one I think I liked on this one. It's like blinds in your house. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to just not touch anything on that. Click OK and OK. And now when I play it through, it's going to slow down a little bit because it hasn't rendered. But as you can see, as I drag it through slowly, I've got this really nice effect. I'm going to let that render real quick so we can see what that looks like in real time. Okay, my transition has finished doing the background rendering. I'm going to come back here again and play into it. Boom! It's snowy. All right, so we've had some fun with that clip now. Now we're going to do something else. Now we're going into a clip that is an aerial shot from my drone. And because I'm a little bit of a plane nerd and I like planes and flying things, I'm going to make this particular transition something kind of silly. All right, I've got my transition set. And then once again, if I don't touch anything, it's just going to be a fade into my drone flight, which is not what I want. Come back up here to my transitions. 
drag back down on top of there and let's open that up oh let me show you one other thing one quick way if you want to you can right click instead of double clicking you can right click and do transition edit it's a couple different ways to get into it it all does the same thing as you can see it's a 1.2 seconds which is probably okay we can always stretch it longer if we want I'm gonna click edit and for this particular transition I'm gonna go down to volume 10 travel and transportation and ho oh, looky there airplane I like airplane so let's click on one of them Ooh, that's an airplane in a mountain we know we don't want that Ooh, I like that airplane look at that it just kind of flies by it's got some color and we get a new scene out of it I'm just gonna leave that as it is click OK and click OK and you can see there we have our transition of a plane that flies by and brings in my new scene how totally cool is that if we wanted to make that transition slower I can stretch it out and make it longer let's make it two seconds see right there that little pop-up there it should be right about two seconds right there okay so now when the background rendering is complete we will have a transition of a plane flying in and dragging our new scene onto the screen now here we are in an aerial shot it's kind of cool had a good time that day but let's have a little bit of fun what's one of the things that everybody says is a problem with drones is or some people are dangerous flying their drones and they like to fly around other aircraft so let's have a little bit of fun and spoof that a little bit I'm going to put a cut here and a cut about there this is my easy quick way of keyframing instead of trying to figure out how where to something to start where I want it to end I'm just gonna cut my clip to the exact length that I want that looks about right and going to drop an effect on there okay and once again double click to open that particular plugin one more time I go down to volume 10 that travel and transportation and I found a helicopter I like helicopters they're fun see that I don't like that when he was pointed over too far and not sure I like that one either or that one it's gotta be one that I think that's the one I like yeah let's use that one and you can see he just kind of flies by and gets in the way of my drone or my drone gets in the way of him so I click OK and OK and now I'll be flying along everything's good and then whoa here comes a helicopter and, and what's really cool is if you look through the windows on that thing you can actually see the video shining through of what I'm shooting down there so it's even transparent through the windows to give it some realistic look and then it continues flying on and everything's safe what I'm going to do is let this stuff render for a second so you can see it all and see how the effects look where they're actually playing in real time so I'll be back shortly once those renders are done okay our previews are all rendered so let's go back here to the beginning and I'm gonna hit the space bar to play and there's my title a ride in the country and we're riding along riding along let's go move a little faster okay space bar again and oh I just hit a patch of fog be careful hold on and here we go and we're going to come into our blind transition into some winter sledding and then at the end of that clip we have a plane bringing us into an aerial shot how cool is that and oops we almost hit a helicopter that drove by and there we have it that is the end of our little clip in this tutorial I really only touched on the very basic simple functionality of the Adderidge plugin for Pinnacle Studio 20 I encourage you to do some exploring have fun doing it have fun editing and until next time this has been Philip Hinkle from ProDad you have a great day